Um, we might do another little vlog today. Finally cleaned up the truck. Uh, I was like, man, I wish it was lower in the front. And I realized that I had some lower control arms, a DJM, brand new, like five or six inch in front that I could throw on this truck. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to put them on. I'm gonna try to put on uh, the, the, the lowering control arms from DJM. And we're gonna see uh, if it goes lower. Hopefully it goes lower and hopefully uh, it, looks, it looks good because I kind of like it right now, but I kind of don't like that lean too much. I kind of want it to be a little bit more even or make, maybe like an inch or two up front would be dope. So uh, right now I think it has like four or five inch uh, lowering DGM control arms, but I finally cleaned up the truck. So um, it looks really good. So tell me what y'all think. go ahead and lift it and see if it's not too much of a hassle I've done I used to do it all the time back to my other trucks but it's like been like three maybe four years since I did the last time I did I I, I installed the lowering control arms so yeah I'm gonna see if I remember how to do it so I'm gonna lift it and then take the wheel off and look under there just to make sure I remember cuz I tend to forget really fast and Especially if it's been a while already, I most likely already forgot, which I already did. I forgot. But I know if I look at it, I probably remember. So I'm gonna lift it and uh, yeah, like I said, I, I totally forgot I even had these control arms just sitting in the garage. They're just there. I bought them for one of the, my old, uh, I used to have this blue GMC that I bought. I was gonna go ahead and build it because it's pretty tight, but I ended up selling it. I ended up selling the truck and I forgot, like they just stayed in there and I forgot I had them. And I think they're like six inch, if I'm if I'm not mistaken. And damn, I was looking at the truck and I was like, man, it looks, it looks. Uh, I don't really like it like leaning that much. So I was like, what could I do to lower it? You know, what do I have to buy? And then I was like, oh, I could just buy the six inch lowering uh, lowering control arms. And then I remembered, I was like, oh shit, well I got a pair in the garage that I could throw on this truck. So we're gonna go ahead and throw that on. Uh, also, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and order the cam kit from Texas Speed Cam. I'm thinking about like a 228R would be sick on this truck, but I'm still undecided. So um, I'll see you later today. Uh, I'll do a video once that once once the cam comes in and I take the truck to to my Madrone to get it done, and I'll do some before and after, like how it sounded right now and how it sounds after. It's gonna sound badass. So. Yeah. Oh, and I finally got the, the the Joe Gibbs bumper. Previous owner had, had had it there, and he ended up throwing that in with the deal. And um, I was gonna, I was thinking of making the clone an uh, Joe Gibbs SS clone, but I think I'm just gonna stick to the Interminator SS, and I might just do this one, uh, the Joe Gibbs clone. So comment what you guys think if you guys want me to do that or make the clone the SS clone of Joe's Joe Gibbs clone or keep it in Terminator SS, or make the step side a Joe Gibbs clone. It has the interior already. Um, all it needs is was the bumper, and it's got the badges, and it's gonna need some interior pieces, but I'm gonna go ahead and get those. And, uh, cause I'm really picky with my little details, you know, and it's all in the detail on these trucks. It's like the little details are the ones that stand out a lot. So, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go get the, let's go get the control arms. Let's see what we got back here. Like, they were just... I, forgot, I totally forgot. My bad, I have a mess in the garage right now. I'm going to get it organized here. Once the back truck comes in, I got to clean it out. But, um... <clears throat> they're right here. As y'all can see, what that I mean. yeah. well, This is probably why I forgot that I have this. Clean this up. Excuse the mess. We got the tops right here, and we got the, the bottom ones right here. So, 
We're gonna go ahead and lift the truck. Not rocket science, but it's been a while. So, and I'm kinda lazy, you know? Kinda don't wanna do it. I'd rather pay someone to do it. So I don't have to do it, but I ain't got nothing to do today. And um, I'm pretty bored. And I will hit the gym right now, but I think it's too early. I like to hit the gym like nighttime. Cause there's less people. I'm still kind of like ah iffy if I should do it or not. Cause like like I said, that damn laziness, damn laziness. But we're gonna go ahead and do it. Fuck it. I'm gonna go ahead and lift the truck. I'm gonna go ahead and install them control arms. I'm gonna go ahead and take those off. And yeah, we're gonna make this. We're gonna make this bitch static as fuck. So. Hopefully all goes good and I'm able to do, to like remember and once I do one side the other side is going to be easy cuz I already remember like it's pretty you know it's not rocket science like I said but y'all stay tuned so let's go ahead and do that and Brand new. Glad I even had these holes. So, so I ended up just pulling in the truck. Just didn't want to clean all the mess. So, like I said, laziness. So I'm just gonna. Oh, by the way, it died. I don't know who the fuck connected the battery. Whatever. Anyways, like I said, the truck needs some work, which is where we're gonna get done. Anyways, um, we're gonna go ahead and be changing the control arms. I'm gonna go ahead and lift it. Uh, and yeah, see what mess we get into today. So, like I said, I had these control arms just sitting there. I forgot from a previous truck that I was gonna that I was going to uh, fully build. And I had a stock height, so we're gonna do like a 610 drop on it. I ended up getting rid of it. So here we are. Uh, forgot I had them. We're gonna go ahead and install these control arms. So y'all stay tuned. So, like I said, I already had lowering DJM control arms, but I think they're like a four or five inch. And these might be lowering springs. Not sure. Look like aftermarket springs. Hopefully they are. Um, yeah. I think we might just. I think I'm. I'm good with just taking off the the bottom control arm. I might not even have to take this top one off because it's the same thing. It's for the camber. So this might make it a little easier for me. So I might just have to. I might just be taking off this control arm. So if I'm not mistaken, we got to take off this right here. And then we gotta take off the spindle uh, bolt. And then we gotta take off the links. And obviously these two down here. Sure, but I, I'm not, like I said, I was just looking right now. So right now I'm gonna go get the tools and I'll let you guys know exactly what we're gonna need. But we gotta take off the, the shock. We gotta take off those bolts behind. So there's two of those, and then you gotta take off your spindle as well. And maybe we're not even have to take this off. Might not even have to take this off. Might just be this one, those two bolts back there, the links, and that's it. Hopefully, hopefully it is this easy, like I said. But I I don't have to take off the top, which is good because I already have them so that's a less of a hassle but if I were to take off the top we have to take off this bolt right here as well oh the fuck put these weird ass pins but yeah anyways um, we got to take off those bolts over there along with the camper plates on both sides got to take off the shock for the bottom which is uh, you got another bolt up here let me see what size that is. 
So the shock bolt is a 16 millimeter. Sixteen for the top shock, and then the bottoms. Okay, the bottom ones are thirteen. The bottom for the the bottom shock is a thirteen. If it's a little loose, it might be even a twelve. Uh, and then the top shock is a sixteen. So sorry about the mess right here. Just trying to look for some tools because got them all over the place. A little bit more organized, but um, I went ahead and loosened up. I took off this bolt right here, which was, uh, I believe, it was a 16 millimeter. Uh, we went ahead and took off the shock as well. We got those right over here. Then what we did was we uh, took off the spindle bolt. And then we lifted the jack, hit it a little bit till it popped out. Now all we gotta do is take it off. And like I said, luckily it already had the top uh, control arms and I'm pretty sure they're the same ones as the ones I have in the box right now. Um, so we won't have to be removing these, but we'll just be removing the bottom control arm, I believe. It's a four inch, uh, maybe three inch uh, drop. Uh, Cause it also has springs, so. Uh, we're gonna be in, be putting on the five five inch uh, control arms, so it's gonna go pretty low with the springs, and it also has spindles. So who knows how how low that's gonna be? Uh, hopefully, it's not too low, but you can never be low enough, you know. So um, yeah. So just like that, uh, we pray out the drop spring, and now we let the control arm fall. Now all we gotta do really is take off those two bolts, install the new one, and put everything back together. So yeah, y'all stay tuned. Um, I'm probably not gonna go through the whole thing because my battery is a little low. So like I said, um, maybe on the other side, I'll, I'll uh, if I have time today, I'll. Uh, Go ahead and show you exactly how to do it now that I come starting to remember um, Luckily, I don't have to take off the top one. So Yeah, y'all stay tuned So now that we have uh, now I have loosened uh, these bolts back here on both sides. It's a 24 and an 18 millimeter um, Now the control arms ready to come off and this one's ready to come on So um, I recommend you guys to have a jack right here so you can leave the spindle on there and it'll be a much easier process but that's pretty much it as far as taking the bottom control arm control arm off um i'm kind of sketchy right now i didn't even notice this but the the bed is literally on the ground so i hope i don't break it Harry has a little crack i hope it'll break more but, damn boy you even tuck it Anyways, yeah, let me go ahead and take off the control arm for you guys. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and put that one back on and then start putting everything back together. So, yeah. And you got all the new links, but you got to put all these little circles on. I forgot how these went. Let's see. So figure one. I don't have a greaser right now. If, if, if I got a chance to go get one, I'll go buy one. But uh, like I said, I'm gonna take my I'm gonna take it to Rene. He's gonna cam it. Uh, so. 
we're gonna I'll just tell him to go ahead and grease them for me. And I'm not really I'm not gonna move the truck, so because I don't know, I guess previous shop who did uh the work uh grinded off the guy's brake lines. So the truck no has no brakes right now. Uh that's uh one of the things that we need to work on is fixing the brakes. Sorry, I'm sweating, it's kinda hot today. Um so yeah, truck right now has no brakes. That's why I'm not really moving it. Um, and we gotta put these back on. This one is done with. All right, so now what you're gonna wanna do, now that we put the control arms back on, uh, you're gonna wanna tighten the bolts and then we're gonna wanna put the spring back on. So what you're gonna do is put the spring up and then get the jack back under here and start compressing it to where we can put this, uh, the, the, the spindle back onto the control arm and get the, this one on as well. I forgot what it's called, I think that's another link. Um, but that's pretty much it, it's pretty simple. Uh, I'm about to go static, static. So y'all stay tuned. Uh, like I said, I don't really want to uh, keep the camera rolling too long because the battery is a little low right now, and I only have one. So let me go ahead and start putting everything back together. So yep. So we have now uh, tightened the bolts on, and we put the spring on, and we put uh, this link back on. We put the spindle bolt back on. Um. That's pretty much it besides the spring, th this links right here and the the shock. But everything's pretty much coming together already. Um, what else am I missing? So we're gonna put the links on, tighten this uh, tighten this one up. Uh, the control arms are already tightened on, springs are already on. Uh, we gotta put the shock back on, and that's pretty much it. Let's see how much it lowers. So. Yeah, let me go ahead and tighten these bolts back up. All right, guys, we are now done. We have tightened everything back up. Tighten those bolts back up there, 18 millimeter and a 24 millimeter. This one was a 16 millimeter for this link. These ones were 15 millimeter on the bottom bolt. Uh, top was a 14 millimeter for the links. Um, the spring is on, the shock is on. Make sure you have a 16. Um, the bottoms were 13s. Uh, it's not for the bottom shock. 24 millimeter for the spindle. And that's pretty much it. Let's put the wheels back on. And let's see how low it goes. So, there it is. Pretty simple. I wanted to tuck a little bit more, but it's cool. That's cool. And I believe this side is the highest one because it's that Chevy lean, but that's perfect. I love it. Well, it's just like that extra inch, but damn. That gives it a better stance. Oh yeah. So it really didn't drop a lot. It's not like a wow difference, but it's like a, an inch, at least an inch. It dropped an inch, so I like it. Uh, still had to sit once you ride and stuff. It'll sit, all right. But that's pretty much how you change your DJM control arms uh, to lowering. Unfortunately, we didn't have to do the top control arm because uh, they're the same. The only thing that changes is the, the bottom. But like I said, these were a five or six inch control arm that I installed on the DJM on the on the on the Silverado. And this one that we took off was a three, three to four inch uh, control arm. So it's pretty much how you do it. It's not rocket science. Like I said, it's pretty simple. Uh, it's been a while since I've done it. Sorry, it took a little while, but hopefully the other side's a little uh, faster. But yeah, let's go ahead and start 
taking apart the other side and see if we can uh, go ahead and knock it out right away before the sun uh, goes out. Come on. Pretty much the same, uh, the same process. Uh, you're gonna want to remove this, this link, this sway bar. Oh, it's a sway bar. There we go. The sway bar right here. Uh, and then you're gonna want to. I already took off the spindle one. And then after that, you're gonna want to put the jack underneath, jack it up all the way, take the shock off. And then after the shock, you want to take off these links right here and then slowly take off the control arm lower it so the spring could just fall right out so y'all stay tuned we loosened up the sway bar now I loosened up the links sway links or whatever they're called and then we're about to hit this uh, spindle so we can pop the control arm off and then we got to re release those two over there and that's pretty much what we have left and then we're going to let the control arm fall slowly so the spring can pop out. And we're going to pry it out with this bad boy right here. And then we're going to take the spring out. Once we take the spring out, we're going to take those two bolts off. And then we're going to repeat the process again. Put the other control arm and then put everything back together. So as you see, I uh, set the spindle and the rotors on my jack. And I let it fall slowly. And then slowly the spring will just fall right out. And then that's pretty much it. Now all I got to do is take off those two bolts back there. The 18 millimeter and the 24 millimeter. And then replace the control arm. Throw the other one back on. And then put everything back together. So yeah. Alright so I have now taken out the control arm. And we're about ready to put the new one on and put everything back together. So, like I said, it was a 18 millimeter and a 24 millimeter for those back bolts back there. And I just got to be very careful so it won't drop this shit on me right here. So, I'm going to go ahead and put that on. So, yeah. Alright guys, so we are pretty much done. I have now put the sway bar back on. The links are now all tied in the bottom uh screw for the spindle is now on make sure you put your uh your pins on so they won't come off eventually with the the vibration and whatnot and then we also got the back ones on and tighten the 18 and 24 millimeter all we have left now is to put the shock back on and lay it on the ground see how low it went so y'all stay tuned uh i'm gonna i was gonna uh spray paint the the caliper silver that's what i do with all my trucks either red or silver so that's gonna be here pretty soon um i'm gonna get this all cleaned up gotta take it to a professional shop to do all this to redo it because uh the way it's done not liking it um there's screws coming down from the top i already grinded them off but they were literally pointing right on the tire and it had 24s i'm surprised it didn't pop but anyways like i said Truck needs work. We need to put brakes on them because previous shop also fucked up the brakes on this truck. So, um, like I said, it needs work. But little by little, we're going to start messing with it. As you can see, it's been like three days with the truck. I already put wheels on it. I already lowered the front more. Uh, cam kit should be here pretty soon. Just going to wait on my man Renee to get it installed. We're also going to put a stall on it. And I got the Joe Gibb Gibbs bumper. Uh... I think I was going to clone the clone, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and make this uh, Joe Gibbs clone. It already has the full interior, so we might, we might just do that. So y'all stay tuned. So let me go ahead and install the shock, 
and we're gonna get the truck on the ground see how much it lowered so stay tuned all right guys so finally we're done shocks back on uh, all the bolts are nice and tightened now we can put the wheel back on sorry I took so long it's been a while since I've done it it's been like three years I hate doing it because I always make a mess as you can see but we got it done so the moment of truth right now I'm gonna put the wheel back on and we're gonna let it let it sit and see how it looks we beat the Sun uh, it's not fully gone so yep So it really didn't drop much, probably like an inch, maybe half an inch. Um, but kind of bummed out. Just kind of, kind of wanted to go lower. So with that being said, we're gonna go with lower springs now. Cause the owner told me it had lower springs, but those are stock springs. I know, I know those are stock springs. So we're gonna go ahead and install lower springs on the next video. This is how it looks. Um, Pretty much how you uh, take off your control arms. Um, uh, like I said, I only had to remove the bottom one because the top one is just for the camber. Uh, I already had it on, so we didn't need to take that one off. Luckily, uh, to go through too much trouble. Um, sorry I took so long. Like I said, it's been a while since I've done it, but that's pretty much how I do it. Uh, uh, I'm not the fastest. I'm not no mechanic. Like I rather pay for someone to do it than me do it because it's time consuming and I just I hate. I hate hitting myself with tools and shit, so luckily today I didn't get hurt, uh, but usually we always fucking smash a finger or something, so today we didn't get hurt, so that was a good thing, uh, it didn't take us too long, but we did make a mess, so now we got to clean up, uh, but yeah, let me get it out, uh, and put the caps back on, and slap my sticker on, uh, remember guys, uh, new merch coming soon, uh, make sure you shop at amosumando.com, uh, Pretty soon we're going to have giveaway, so stay tuned on that. You do not want to miss. And if you buy now, you are automatically entered for the next giveaway that we have. So uh, keep in mind, uh, we will be having more merch coming here pretty soon. Uh, so stay tuned. Hold on, this shit's dead. This <laughs> Alright y'all, I had to go change because uh, I wasn't about to sit in, uh, in the truck this dirty. So I went to go put on the gear. Make sure you guys shop at andosumbando.com. The truck looks fucking sick. It lowered alright. It lowered probably like half inch, maybe full inch. I still need to ride it around and it, it, to it, for it to fully adjust. But right now I'm putting on the sticker, as y'all see. Uh, came out pretty good. Fucking love it. Looks pretty good. Hopefully tomorrow I'll take a better video. So you guys can see it during the daylight, but let's see if you guys can see it a little bit. So right now we're putting on the sticker, I'm the Sumbando. Make sure you guys shop at amdosumbando.com. These are the sweaters right here. Right now we're out of stock. Uh, I made a certain amount and I didn't think they were gonna sell that quick. And they did, so we're gonna, we're waiting on the new sweaters, but we still have shirts available. So make sure you guys shop at amdosumbando.com. Like I said, stay tuned for the giveaways. Even if you buy right now, you are automatically entered for the next giveaway, which is our first giveaway. So stay tuned on that. Uh, pretty excited for that. So you guys uh, stay, stay alert. Make sure you guys subscribe so you guys can keep up with the giveaways and keep up with my builds. Uh, and like I said, maybe one of these days I'll give away one of my trucks. Like I got four builds. I got the bag truck. I got the 
Dirty Spray. I got the GMC Sierra. Go ahead and show them the GMC Sierra. Just chilling in the garage. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And now we got this one. So right now we're giving it our blessing. Ando zumbando because, you know, we're always making noise. So make sure you guys shop at andosumbando.com. These are going to be available as well. These are going to be the front windshield stickers. Uh, we will have smaller sizes for the back. And it doesn't look too crooked. We did it at nighttime. Just on the fast. Oh, shit. But it looks cool. Oh, shit. Probably shit. I just like that little cuz. It's a mm. good one. Yeah. So there it is guys, that's how you install the lowering control arms for the DJM. Uh, make sure you guys like, subscribe, um, so you guys can stay alert on my builds, especially this one, because this one has a long way to go. Um, what else? We're gonna, I'm probably gonna end up changing the headlights tomorrow from the clone uh, to this one, because I'm gonna order some new ones for the clone. And those are new as well, but they're black housing, and I think I'm gonna go with clear ones over there. So we're gonna go ahead and change those to black housing headlights so stay tuned on that uh see how it looks but overall it looks really good i really liked it fell in love with it again um just waiting for the the cam now once we cam it and we put the stall on and get the nitrous back and set up it's gonna it's gonna be a beast so for now we're gonna go ahead and do a little walk around video of the truck it's already nighttime it's not nighttime, it's like 5 maybe, but the time savings or whatever, uh, since it changed, it gets darker quicker. So uh, so there it is, guys. Uh, hope this video was helpful to you guys that are not on here for just the vlog, but to know how to lower, uh, to install the DJM patrol arms. Like I said, it's not rocket science. It's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Also comes with directions on there. I didn't really read them this time because like i said it's not my first time i just it's been like three years since i did my last truck but sorry i took a long time i just uh it's been a while and i i, I tend to forget things right away so uh it took me a minute to uh to come to the conclusion on how to do it again so uh luckily i got it done uh and i'm really I, I like how it looks uh, but i will be installing some lowering springs because i want it to go like at least two inches lower uh maybe one maybe just one inch lower because it still has that cali lean but i kind of want it to be even but it's low as fuck in the back when i was uh dropping it i don't know if I, i'll put put the clip on but the bed was literally sitting on the on the ground and i thought it was gonna break but luckily it didn't break and she looks clean as fuck but like I said, make sure you guys shop at andosumbando.com. More inventory coming here pretty soon. Like I said, our inventory is pretty low right now because we're barely starting. But you got to start somewhere. And we're starting off with what we got right now. So I'm waiting on a few more stuff. So as they start coming in, we will start posting more inventory. Uh, like I said, even if you shop right now, you'll be automatically be entered to my next giveaway, my first giveaway. And there's going to be a lot of giveaways. So stay tuned. Uh, like I said, I got four builds right now. Maybe I'll get nice and generous to you guys and give one of them away. So make sure you guys subscribe so you guys stay tuned on these, on these builds and stay tuned to whenever I decide to give one of my builds away. So I hope you guys liked the video. I hope it was helpful. And yeah, do it out again.